And welcome back to the long run where we are playing Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. So last time we got to the very top of the glitz pit. We are now the champion there as well as being a B-list star. Which uh, gives us a maximum audience of 100. Which allows us then to restore our special points much faster. But uh, then we discovered that... Um, Grubba is uh, kind of doing something in the ring while things are. Uh... Is it Grubba? Yeah, actually, he went through here a moment ago. He was a Yeah, there is something going on over here. I gotta say, y'all are a couple psych jawed idiots. Sniffing around my business. Now you know my big secret. I, I'm i afraid you're going to have to take a little old dirt nap. So let's meet the actual boss of Chapter 3. Oh dear. Gonzalez, up there. That's the crystal star, right? <laughs> How do you like the? Oh, that was uh, that was uh, wrong voice there. Up there, that's the crystal star, right? <laughs> How you like my machine? Pretty dang nice, huh? Yep, I've been sucking power from fighters with this baby. Slur, you're dying tootin'. And you know why? Cause it keeps my vibe forever young, son. You are such a scumbag. You're gonna pay for using a crystal star like that. I'll just shut your traps now. I use my crystal star however I dang please. Check this out. Oh my god, a cage match. We call him cute kid. Macho Brother. Yo! Grubba beefed up! Hoo-wee! I'm gonna smush you guys into guacamole and snack on your energy too! Macho! I'm a powerhouse now, you pestering little piece of prairie piffle! So long as I got this here machine, my body will be rough Tough and ultra buff. Ten thousand years, the macho brother. That's right, Gonzalez. I'm ready to chew this dude up and spit him out. Our condition is can't flee this fight. Also, where did all these people come from? Let us find out about this monster of a creature. Let's go ahead and start with a power smash. Gotcha for three minutes of playtime. That's Macho Grubba. He's Grubba all souped up on Crystal Star Power. Max HP is 60, attack is 4, and defense is 0. His attack, pa uh, his attack pattern is simple. First he increases the number of times he can attack. Then he powers himself up with all sorts of crazy power-up he moves. So it's pretty important to pay close attention to how he's, powers, how he's powered himself up. The craziest thing about this muscle head is that he used to be that chubby grubba. I guess the crystal stars really are powerful. More chances to attack are now possible. Nice. We didn't get that, but uh, no big deal. Oh, 
Oh yeah, keep it spicy. You know I love a good tussle, Gonzalez. Keep on scrapping, son. Of course, get, it ain't gonna do you much good in the end. Defense is boosted. The only thing that it will damage in that Oh Well, maybe, it, maybe something else could have done too, but uh, that definitely did it. But right now, I think the best DPS is going to be pretty much exactly what I'm doing right now. Ah! Defense is boosted again. Ah! I gotta say, the song for this is kind of rad. So now his uh, attack count has gone down. So he should cast that move. Oh, missed that one. Not too shabby, Gonzalez. You got showmanship, and that's gold in this biz. But this here battle's just getting started. It's time I showed you some real moves. Back in the day, I had so many rum kicking moves, they had to make some illegal. So I'm going to guess that increased his attack power. I wonder if Fire Drive would actually set him on fire. It did. Uh, do I have... I have Honey Syrup. Do I have anything better than that? It looks like no. Attack is boosted. <laughs> well, that's rude. Defense is boosted. Yeah. Like, what am I supposed to do here? Like, I literally can't do anything in my situation. And now I'm in friggin' peril because of that. I need an Ultra Shroom for Mario. And just the fact that that happened in the middle of a fight. But not, not only in the middle of a fight, in the middle of a turn. Like, that was rude. Finish yet, Gonzalez. Ain't over till it's over. 
That's ha that's the way it goes in combat sports, son. Let me tell you something. Fortune's got a smile on me in the end, punk. I believe that is what we call in the business danger. Um, so let's retreat. Good, actually. Invisible attacks will now miss. But only for one turn, so don't get used to it. No bingo. is down, so uh, let's switch to Omelette. How'd your hammer hit if it, if it was intangible too? Um... It only makes it so that, uh... Oh, I didn't work out so well. It only makes it so that attacks on me miss. <laughs> yeah! Defeated you with a super guard counter! Mm. Yeah! So what you thinking guys, HP, FP, or BP? Because it is time to level up. That one was a little dicey, but uh, also it was the chapter boss. Yeah, not only with a super guard counter, but also a level up. Jewel saying HP, which we have a lot of HP already. I'm not gonna bother with the, the... I have a lot of badges. Zero saying BB. Anyone else? Therium? Axe? Some guy? The, que the question is, which are we picking? HP, FP, or BP? So, health, flower points, which is our you know, magic reserve. Excuse me. Or BP to... Um... Tyrion's saying HP. Oh, Alright then. HP, alright. That's decided. No! How did this happen? How could a perfect ball like mine lose in such a chub? Oh, great Gonzalez. Great fight there, son. Great fight. Ugh. Dead. 
Mr. Champion. No, I mean, Mario. He's allowed me to offer my earnest thanks for defeating that foul Greva. Jolene! I really have to apologize. I'm so sorry that I had to get you involved. But you must understand. I had to learn the, the truth about this arena by any means. Let me tell you everything. I had a little brother once by the name of Mush. He'd have done anything for me. Our family was always poor, so he became a fighter here to support all of us. But then he suddenly went missing one day. Our family was inconsolable. I suspected foul play, so I got hired on as the manager and investigated in secret. As I looked for clues about my brother, I, s I accidentally saw Mr. Groa transform. Seeing what I was up against, I almost gave up hope, and then you appeared. So I decided to secretly guide you. Aha! That's where our ex-buddy was! Correct. It was me. Once I saw you fight, I knew you were the only one who could challenge Grubba. Now, sir. No, not sir. Grubba. I want answers. Right now. What did you do with my precious little brother? You know exactly what I'm talking about. The first champion, Prince Mush. Ugh. Prince Mush. He... He discovered the secret of my power-sucking machine. I had him... Disappear. Any which way you look at it... Ugh. He ain't around these parts no more. No. I... Expect as much. Oh, poor sweet Mush. Well, I thought she was kind of mean, but turns out she was just worried for her, new, for her brother. Wow, check it out, Gonzalez, the Crystal Star! Whoa, is this... am I back in the Glitz Pit? Mush! Oh, is that really you, sis? What are you doing here? I... I was... I was just... There, yeah, there, Mush. It's okay. It's all over. Finally. Is that what Crystal Stars can do? Now, yeah, Mario. Crystal Star is yours. Wow. Are you sure? It's okay if we just take it? Better that you have it, so that nothing like this will ever happen again. It's all you, Gonzalez. Nab it, dude! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got a crystal star! And your star power is now four, and Mario learned the special move Power Lift. End of chapter! Blitzville's seamy underside was a dark, dangerous place seething with cons conspiracy. With the help of the lovely Miss Jolene, Mario revealed Grubba's true identity and acquired the third crystal star by defeating the monstrous ma Macho Grubba. Grubba had used the power of the crystal star to run his power rating machine. What other hidden powers might uh, these strange and mystical items possess. Crystal stars of the devil and foosball. Crystal star here producing the chromancy. Now let's see what is going on in the land of Princess Peach. By which I mean wherever this is. Belden, tell me, what good are you? You still haven't taken care of that Mario character. Uh, yeah, sorry, but only because he he's tougher than we thought at first. You do understand that the x knots must open the door first, do you not? 
Well, rest assured that I will definitely nail him next time. We prepared a weapon that will bring him to a quick and certain end. I trust your words, though I rapidly lose my patience. Let's leave it to us, sire. <laughs> Let's away, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian. Gug. <laughs> Board. Those awful X things haven't been back to ask about the map. I wonder, is it safe? Oh my, that must be tech again. Doesn't work. Oh wow. Well. Excuse me. Hello, Princess Peach. You always call me in without warning, Tech. What is it this time? I apologize. I would like you to go. I would like you to go to where Sir Grotus is and ask him something. What? What do you mean, go ask? I recently obtained specific information that brought an issue to my attention. You are the main computer here, right? Why is there anything you don't know? I am unable to know things that are not entered in my CPU or otherwise recorded. That is why I want to know what Sir Gross is thinking about this issue. But even if I, tr uh, even if I try to go see him, He'll catch me and send me back to the room. That is true. But you will find it. My goodness, sorry. But you will find a soldier's room, one floor up. Take the only. Once there, please obtain a soldier's uniform and change into it, avoiding detection. You will go see Sir Gross, looking like a soldier. Me, I'll be disguised? I imagine you won't take no for an answer, will you? You imagine correct. All right, fine, I guess. Well, so what do you want? Uh, what do you want me to to go ask this Grotus? I will tell. What in the world is Tech thinking? I mean, honestly, he sure is a weird computer. Is that the elevator he wanted me to go in? Well, did it, uh, did he say one floor up? Please wait just a moment. There are currently soldiers in the, in the vicinity. Beach. It is the room with a green lamp very near where you disembark the elevator. Over right here. One floor, you only take 22. Please change it. Quick. The soldier's uniform should be in a locker. That one. That one. There we go. Oh, is this the uniform? Am I supposed to wear this ugly thing? Yes, that is good. Uh, oh, I don't know about this. It's awfully tight. It kind of smells a bit. Well, who knows how, but I got into it. I can barely breathe, though.
That would look perfect. Oh, isn't that silly? I'll suck it up indeed. It's more or less what she is doing right now. It's about Princess Peach. What do you plan to do with her going forward? Uh, something is wrong with your voice accent. Perhaps I have to throw a touch. No, oh, never mind. Ah, uh, but Princess Peach, I have no interest in what, uh, I have no interest in what that one has to say. Just keep her locked in. But don't ever. Ever treat her roughly, you understand? Tell the others as well. But, uh, why? Why in the world are we keeping her here then? That's none of your business. Don't forget your place, you reputed worm. Concentrate on getting the legendary treasure. That is all I require of you. We, ex we Exonauts need that treasure to conquer the world. Don't forget it. Conquer the world? Legendary treasure? What are you bothering about now? Hmm, something is odd about you. No, nothing odd. That's so Roger or whatever. Please excuse me. Oh, that was unnerving. All that stuff about conquering the world. Talk about creepy. I wonder if that, if that has anything to do with collecting those crystal stars. Okay, let's get back into our own clothes. Off with this thing. Ooh, little pink dress. My favorite. Why would I ever wear anything different? Better get back quickly. Early before someone sees me. Oh, fortunately, we're just going to immediately warp here. Tech, you terrible machine! So your goal is to conquer the world, is it? Of course. After all, I was built for the purpose. Conquering the world? How could you? Princess Peach, allow me to ask you something. Do you like the world you live in? There are many problems, many sorrows. Do you like such a world? Of course I do. Nobody likes everything about the world, but I love the good parts. There are many sorrows, sure, but there is also joy. Is that so? Tell me, will the crystal stars help you conquer the world? And what's this treasure? I'm afraid I cannot answer. Answering those questions is prohibited by Sir Brooks. Well, but... Oh, never mind. I must at least inform Mario about this awful plan for world domination. Tech, let me use your communicator. I suppose I can allow it. Please use the communicator. Send it this instant. How do we know it hasn't been modified, though? The message has been sent. Well, then. Princess Peach, you have had a busy day. Go back to the room. Oh, okay. Blink, blink. Good night, Princess Peach. So, what a surprise. It's a plot for world domination. I mean, who didn't see that one coming? Let's see how Bowser's holding up after having been thrashed in the blitz pit. That, that thing's humongous! Everybody hide now! Save yourselves! Stupid 
cheap, Mario. Who would have thought that that fool would be in Glitzville? Did you say something here, Rudeness? Uh, no. Nothing at all, as far as you know. Hey, did you see that those little bite-sized shrimps? What were those things? Those are some punies. One of them should know about the crystal star. They fear you, so they've all, they're all hiding. Let's find them all and get the info we need. Y yikes! This guy is big and bad. He's large and in charge. Hit me! You're scary, Mister. Giant bug with monster. Don't worry, Petuni. Your brother, your big brother is here. We'll get through this. Be gone! You're one of them, aren't you? One of the evildoers. You want a crystal star? Ha! <laughs> See, I knew it. This ugly thing knows what the crystal star is! Tell us! How rude! Ugly thing? How dare you, wretched crow? I'm a great puny elder. Eh, my heart! Don't start me with like that! I'm too old for this stuff! Tag, where's this tag? <laughs> awesome. Eh, uh, yes, Lord Bowser. You look like if you're dying to say something. Uh, nope, nothing. Let's move on, shall we? You, Elder Hack thing, where is the crystal star? And don't try pulling rank again. Your answer, not your age, will determine your fate. <laughs> Hack thing, honestly. In any case, you're too late. The crystal star is gone. Hello? That's right, you rude thing. We give we give it to a mustachioed man named Martio. He said he was collecting the legendary treasures to rescue some princess. What did he call her? Princess Pinch? Yep. He was he was off to save that lucky Lex. It's Mario! You, not Mario! And it's not Princess Pinch, her name is Princess Peach! But your senility is beside the point. The princess and treasures must be connected. Mario's trying to get it all. Treasures, princess, does his greed never end? That jackal! Both Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars belong to me! To me! If I find him, I'm gonna finish him off once and for all, I swear it! Yeah, sure you are, buddy. Just like all the other times. Sure you're rudeness. Honestly, that, that is a very, like, this series line. Share your rudeness. So now you must leave. Oh, yeah. I understand. If you must, you must. You won't delay. I hope you succeed and find the rest of the Crystal Stars. Good luck. Gonzalez, I want to tell you. Rock Hawk ain't gonna fight dirty anymore. I'm gonna hit the weights, take some vitamins, and win the title fair and square. I'm never, ever gonna lose again. Remember, when life rocks you, rock back. Listen, G Money, thanks for everything, man. You're the nicest dude I ever met. And if you ever need it, I got your back. Me, I think I'm gonna chill here and improve my skills. King K is back, baby. And it's all thanks to you, dog. You're my boy, Mario. Now that Grubble's out of the picture, I'm going to take over running the Blitz pit. If you ever decide to return to the ring, just come back. I'll keep your spot open. You have tons of fans in it, and they'd absolutely love it if you made a comeback. Anyway, think it over, okay? And travel safe. Sweet! Now the Crystal Star! That's three, right? We better roll back to Rogueport, don't you think? Now, I'll just kind of skip to the answer of this question 
So what happens if we do if we do go back into the game stuff? Well, that is totally an option, and you can, if you want, grind money there. But you actually have to start from the bottom again. You are not the champ. In fact, yeah, it, it's as if you've never even participated. And it's also the same deal of, you know, there there are still some restrictions and things. It's pretty much the same as the first run around, except not quite. You have to start again if you go back right now, yes. Um Hey, look at all those point shops we got. How about I set you up with this mushroom? So yeah, we got our first prize. Uh yeah, uh the the I think the idea is that technically like the like with the defeat and deposition of Grubba, effectively the glitz pit kind of disbanded and reformed and everyone else has already signed up again I guess or something but the point is yeah you do have to start from the bottom whether you start now or you know post game you start from the bottom Uh, I don't think there's anything else here for the moment that we can get, so let's go back to our port. By the way, this is a um, this is a lifetime ticket. We don't have to worry about um, getting more tickets later. Okay, well, in the time that we were away, I'm sure that um, Rogue Court here has got some email. Gonzalez, get an email. Here's Mario. I've uncovered something terrible. These things, the x knots they're planning to take control of the world. It's to that end that they're searching for the Crystal Stars. I still don't know what the Crystal Stars do, but you must try to get them all. I'll gather what information I can. Princess Peach. Those dudes want to rule the world? That would stink! But uh, as I was in the middle of, t of saying, uh, there's going to be some troubles accumulated. But there's also some new places we can go, such as over here. Get the, sh the shine sprite. And what's in here? Twilight Town. You know what? Screw everything else. Let's just go straight to Twilight Town. Chapter... Nope. I guess not. Um... Unfortunately, our hammer is not strong enough for that block. Like basketball. Rejected.
Oh, jeez. And quickly go with for a big one star point. You'll always get at least one star point. Oh jeez. Now is when this is triggering. It didn't trigger at all during the glitz spin, I don't think. Increases your coins, so instead of zero, we get zero. Hey, I do want to go back to the underground town. And that requires us to not fall down. I wonder, this is cracked. Can we break it? Nope. Oh, it's worth a try. Oh jeez. Oh no. I accidentally bounced on this guy. Uh, let's uh, switch to boots. And power. Let's get rid of the tails. We'll do that thing. Mistaken. Okay, this wasn't the place. But I'm still not going to be able to get up there. Oh well. What is over here? Oh yeah. Something we can't do yet. I mean, that's clearly going to be a curse of some kind. That's all we can do on this side of town. Yep. Alright, let's prepare for story time. Grace for impact. Wait, I got my second piece in the marvelous compass at Plump a Plump Lady Village recent, recently. Ooh boy! I got, really got my hands dirty on that one, I'll tell you what. It was pretty wild, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Sure. Hey, it sounds good to me. Which part of my story do you want to hear, bro? The one that you... You should default to this one. Like, seriously. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. Once we made landfall on this true continent, we made for, for a plump belly village. Once we got there, though, we immediately noticed that something was wrong. We learned from the mayor that the town was ruled by a giant snake named Hizza. He said his own daughter was going to be offers up, offered up as a sacrifice to this beast too. So of course, being heroic, I offered myself to, up to go in uh, her stead. Brave, huh? Now the custom for sacrifices was to be dressed up as bride, so I got all dolled up. That was one hot sacrifice, bro. It looked so good, I fooled our foes and got into Hizza's lair. It was kind of rough fighting in that gown, but I managed. Chiffon really chafes, bro. I finally found Hizza, and, on the, uh, and the snake had a second head on the tail. Talk about scary. I fainted real quick, but when I came to, I managed to distract both heads. It reared up. Things bared to attack, and at that moment, I deftly lunged left. His gaping mouth smashed into one another, and he vanished in a cloud of smoke. A shining plate fell down on the spot where Hizla's body had been coiled. Yes, another compass piece! I set it and it pointed east to Circuit Break Island. 
Just as I was about to leave town, the mayor uh, asked me to stay and marry his daughter. I thought about it, she was sort of cute, but we ended up sneaking off the next morning. I mean, I still have to save Princess Eclair from the, from the Chestnut King. And when the Marvelous Compass activated this time, I heard somebody's voice. <coughs> it was so beautiful, bro. I'm certain it was Princess Eclair's voice. My heart began to race. That's when I realized it. Princess Eclair, I think I... Oh, I kind of zoned out there. Um, oh yeah. So we set sail out again after ditching town. And somehow we managed to get back here to Rogueport. And here I am. What an exciting story. If you want to hear what I've been up to, just come and find me, okay? I'll be around. Hi, I guess. I'm Jerry. I'm Bob Bong from Plum Belly Village. Nice meeting you. Sorry I sound so down. But you would be too if you saw the Luigi dressed as a bride. I'm serious. It scarred me. It was only, honestly scarier than that giant snake thing. I feel I now have a moral duty. Stop Luigi from ever dressing as a bride again. I have to protect my world from my fate. That's why I'm sticking close to this guy. Brave bob -omb. Brave, brave bob -omb. Anyway. We got some troubles to resolve, but first, let's go check out the Thousand Year Door and see where we'll be going next. can break this. Oh, which shows us there isn't a star piece here the entire time. And also, gives us a springboard so we don't have to do the whole uh, paper plane thing. Uh, was there anything else in this room that's uh, interesting? No? Okay. Let's go place the third crystal star. That's where our next crystal star is. The location of the crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. That's the, four the fourth crystal star, alright. Professor Frankly better look at this. Before he does, though, may I let him know what, what Princess Peach wrote? Oh, yeah. What? A group that kidnapped Princess Peach is bent on total world conquest? Yes, sir. And we figured that would be why they need the ancient treasure. Alright, Jewel. Well, thanks for dropping by. Appreciate you being here. Have fun with the gems while you have fun with the bed. Huh, this doesn't work well. The situation has gotten far more serious than I thought. Let me bring you up to speed. I've been researching just what this treasure could be. 
one book I came across held, uh, held to what I thought was a preposterous theory. This book cr uh, claimed that the treasure was, in actuality, the Great Cataclysm. The very cataclysm that a thousand years ago sank that town underground. So those guys want to use that power of that cataclysm to rule the world? I can't say for sure what they what they will do or why, but we must consider the possibility. Now that things have come now that things have come to this, we mustn't let them near the legendary treasure. That's all that matters. Because if they do get it, uh, then once again, this town, no, the entire world, could be destroyed. Um, in that case, Professor, we need to find that next crystal star, and fast! Hmm. According to the map, it's, it appears the next crystal star is in Twilight Town. Twilight Town? To tell you the truth, I don't know much about this place. Myself, only yours. I have heard that, as the name implies, is perpetually dim and eerie. Wait just a moment. Hmm. Aha! There appears to be a pipe to Twilight Town somewhere here in Roadport. I do believe it's somewhere underneath the west part of town. Yes, definitely. If you get stuck there for any reason, just come back and see me again, okay? Um, hey, Professor. We found that pipe and tried going into it, but we got spat back out. What? You can't get through that pipe, you say? How odd. I'm, I'm glad that it uh, registers this so that we don't have to go down to that pipe again, try to go in, get puked out, and come back here. Hmm. I'm afraid I haven't the foggiest idea of what you should do. Oh, of course. I've heard that a fellow from Twilight Town lives here in Rogueport. If anyone knows how to get through that pipe, it'll be him. His name was, uh... Dang, what was it? Ah yes, the lover of dark places. Darkly. I've seen him loitering right here in this part of town in the past. Look for Darkly. So what you're saying is, we're going to be a scanner of Darkly. <laughs> Alright, um, let us go ahead and check mail. A list of Kubiku. Aww. Let's get cologne or whatever. Gotten used to your smell. That's an awfully specific thing. Because his own smell is weird. I mean, it probably is, yeah. I get used to that snow, huh? <laughs> oh, wait. Since he's gotta be my dad, too. Mm -hmm. Someone's making some very heavy handed presumptions here. And there she is. Um, actually, hey, was there anything under like a PS or something? T. Jr. does job. He takes care of Boo Boo and to Who's Boo Boo? I, he's probably a character from uh, the first Paper Mario. I'm just not as familiar with the first Paper Mario. I've, I've played it once, but it didn't stick to my memory as well as uh, this one and Super Paper Mario. Well, good to hear that uh, our trip to our trip down the pit of a hundred trials was worth something.
Okay. So let us determine here. Uh, great. So who's getting this upgrade? It's gotta be Goombella or it's gotta be Omelette. Are we going to be um, sticking with uh, who brought us here? Or are we going to be grossly neglecting her once again? But so far it's one vote for Omelette. No love for Goombella. It's Probably looks like it's gonna stay that way. Yep. Three, two, one. And it is omelet. Sorry, Gumbella. The people have spoken. Chazibi! Kazumi! Look at my boobies! Wait. I don't have boobies. Then you may go. Take that, Goombella. Poor Goombella. I like her. She's sassy. Hey! Hi there. The name's Dark. Do you guys need something? Huh? You wanna know how to get through the pipe to, to Twilight Town? Couldn't be easier. You just need to have something that has your name written on it. Don't you have anything that has your name written on it? Come on, everything. Everyone does. No? Really? Okay, hang on. I'll write it for you. What's your name? Mario, huh? Okay. I'll just write it here in the seat of your overalls. M A R I O. Right? There. Effect of Mundo. While I'm at it, I'll write your partner's name too. What's your name? All it, baby! Bit on the nose, but sure. Hey, watch where you're drawing, buddy. I don't know what Aaron is taking at Twilight Town, but I hope it goes. I'll be ready. Sure. So now we have our name written on our pants like a big old Dorcas. A Dorcas of the Malorcus variety. So we got one from Jolene here, and we also got one from Merle. Uh, I forget wh where Merle is. Like, there's so many of them that I don't really know what all of them are named. Uh, and Babulber. I don't know offhand where he is or they are. Anyway, let's go help Jillian first. Cleaning done. Work motivated workers only. Me and the Do it. Do it right. Actually, I should probably um, take the fast route. Actually, hang on. I think now that we have this, can we do this? No. Okay. Then I have no idea how to get that. Graffiti cool. Oh. Great Gonzalez rules. He may even be stronger than Prince Mush. Yeah. Fighting. The great Gonzalez crowned the champion of the Blitz Pit, but he turned down the belt. Turned down for what? And I immediately forget to get on the um, on here. Actually, 
Isn't a boulder like around here? No? Okay. Well. Oh, really? I have to talk to you? I think this is the only trouble up in um all aboard the SSN. Camera of the truck to reveal new. Somehow I don't. I, I think that might be the wrong game. Just uh, just the thought I have there. Mew, the secret partner. Oh, that's not the secret partner in this game. Secret partner. <clears throat> I, I mean, uh, I, I there there is no secret partner in this game. Totally isn't. You're the ex champ. Yeah, Gary Gonzalez. I don't know if you know this, but Miss Jolene is quite right. Yeah, business. Head on down the hallway to the promoter. Okay. Oh, are you planning your comeback? This would be so awesome. You need to talk to Miss Jolene? Come on in, just wait. Yes, yes, who is it? It's customer to knock before entering. Oh, why is the great Gonzalez? It's been too long. How you been? It hasn't been long at all. I must tell you, we've seen a big drop off in attendance since you returned belt. I was a touch worried. Our financials didn't look too good for a while, but luckily Rockhawk made a, dr a dramatic comeback and is reigning supreme again. Yes, it's been a whirlwind of activity since I became a promoter. Wait just a moment. Are you back to fight? Ray Gonzalez's return? You must be, right? Yes, yes, you must be. Come on, tell me it's true. What? You want to unretire in battle again? <laughs> I always knew the day was come. It's not what I'm here for, though. Can I just find your old registration so we can... Huh? Oh, this is the reason. Oh, ouch. I'm so sorry, but all of our records of you seem to be gone. Why? So our only option, sadly, is to start you in the minor leagues again. Sorry. Sorry, but rules are rules. We can't bend them even for an ex-champ. <laughs> you heard of the ex-champ? It has been so long. What, a day? Maybe two? Like Tom Brady coming out of retirement. I'll just go ahead and put you on as my league fighter then, again then. Whenever you want to fight, you know the deal. Just use the locker room communicator. I'll not be going over the, re the arena rules again, of course. Not for now. Um, that, that's, that's not why I was here. You have a trouble. I'm here to answer your trouble. Clearly it's because you're Mario, not Gonzalez. I mean, it's written on your butt. You accepted that request? Well, fantastic. Well, let's get you down to business. I need you to clear out the garbage in the store room. Can't get anywhere near it. I have a problem with garbage. I, I don't talk about it. Just put it somewhere I can't see it, alright? Hmm. Oh, oh, wow. 
Who saw your red trousers? Taking out these trousers to dispose of them. Also, there's a star piece here that we totally missed. So it's a good thing that I came back in this room. For our collection. Our very gross collection. Ooh. Speaking of star pieces, get off of it. I figured there was probably one in here too. You smell terrible. Oh no, you don't still have the garbage on you, do you? You have to take that stuff far away from here, I can't stand it. I know of a Goomba named Goomfree in Rogueport had to buy stuff like that. I've already gotten in touch with him, so just get that trash out of here. So does that mean we're going to have to make two trips? Like two additional trips, I should say. So let's see, where is this Goomba? I wonder if it's that Goomba that uh, we dealt with before in the first set of troubles. In which case, I think he's back here. a huge secret, but it won't hurt to tell you. I don't want to go. I was a thief in another town until about three months ago. Yeah, good. When the heat came down, I needed to hide out so I came to your old Now that I told you, you gotta keep it a secret, okay? <laughs> okay, it wasn't you. Is it you? Well, can you tell me about something? You're the guy with the credit card that keeps getting to man in one port. I can't believe it. Not over here. I wonder if we can jump on that boat. We can. There's no particular reason why we would want to, but we can. Hey, it's you. Ah, Mario, you come again. My dream is to get rich quick. I'm gonna strike oil and strike it rich. 
I'm pretty sure I gave you a hundred coins already. But you know what? I believe in you. Crystal stars. Yeah, I spoke to Jolene. Now, who was it that she wanted taken care of? Not who. What you say? Well, fine. Let's get it done. What are we doing? Doesn't left. I'm glad these are uh, classified as key items because there's no limit on these. This one. Man, I've never had a job this stinky. Make sure you get your rest pay for this, man. Backup to Glitz, where we go? I don't know who came up with this. By the way, I do have to wonder. I'm not actually gonna do a match here. But I do wanna check the rankings. So we got the Goomba Brothers, the KP Koopas, Pokey Triplets, Dead Bones, Spike Storm, Handed Overs, Mind Bogglers, Punk Rocks, Bob on Squad, Armored Harriers, Tiny Spinies, Poker Faces, Shell Shockers, The Fuzz, Magic Goomba Masters, Cry Daddy, Hamabam and Flare, Chomp Country, Koopinator, and Rock Hop. So, Sir Swoop is uh, no longer on the roster, and um, also I guess Prince Mush decided to not come back, which, you know, don't blame him. Um, after being absorbed by the power of a crystal star and then uh, brought back somehow, by that same crystal star. Probably pretty traumatic. You've cleared it all up. Only here's your award. You have my gratitude. I guess we won't be getting the smell out of that room anytime soon. Nintendo approved necropsy. Back down we go. Yo, yo, Greg Gonzalez! I, I hear you've thrown your hat back into the fighting ring. Your comeback is like a robot convention. Are you an android or a cyborg? What?
Go away. And back down we go. We'll eventually have to come back here when we can get that, uh, that shine sprite back. It has been one day, guys. Maybe two. Alright, let's see what's our next problem. I want to make a heartful cake, but forgot the recipe for Mario's sake. I have to keep my shop open, so can you find the recipe I'm open? I first learned a recipe from Toast Tea. Yes, over in Pedalburg, you see. Please meet me in the Charmer's Hut beneath Rockport. Hurry, hut! Okay. Now I know where she is. Now I know which one we're talking about. Actually, wait. Can we? No, we can't get that trick. Lazy. Was it this fight? Look at this. Talking to her over the over the table will activate her um, vendor mode. And let's, since we're here, we may as well uh, refresh our spell here. Hey, Kramer. I mean, J-Pop. Let's actually talk to her. I really must know how to bake a yummy, tasteful, a uh, yummy, tasty, heartful cake. To Petalburg, you must go. Ask Toast Tea, all she knows. Dang. Why is it putting me all the way back here? That's rude. Is that over here? Uh. 
At least I touched the ground. It is over here. Okay. It's gonna be at least one, right? I do kind of wish that the, the enemies in this game acted like the one in Xenoblade 3, where if you're like super high level over them, that they just won't react to your presence. Why are you enslaving that Yoshi child? Listen, he's not a slave. He's our friend. He, he's our. I'm good at this. He's our battle comrade. He was born in the Glitz Pit, and he will die in the Glitz Pit. I made that sound a lot more morbid than it actually is. Are you the Bulber? Are you the, the other one that I need to help? I think you might be. Now who's toasty? Are you toasty? You are not toasty. Toasty! This is a little meta. This beat at every chapter. Yeah, probably. Uh, I talked to Luigi. I don't think it'd be that awesome. Uh, you're nifty. You are pretty nifty. A nifty little shopper. You're not even a toad, you're just a die-hard, creepy fan of Princess Peach. More or less, yeah, J-pop. That's just the mayor's house. Also, I don't think I've checked these plants. I don't think I can check the ones in front. That's good to do. This, I think, is uh, Koops' house. Yeah, because Papa's over here. And Toasty has got to be you, right? You're the last one. Yes, hello. I'm Toasty. Did you need something? What? You want to make a heart full of cake? And who asked you to? Riley? Let's see. I know you need cake mix and ruin powder. <laughs> I wonder who Riley is making it for this time. And, um, a recipe that takes two ingredients? Oh. <laughs> I like how Mario jumped over, um... Actually, what, was he writing? Uh, omelet on his way in. I didn't catch if he was. Let's 
I'll show these guys away. Well. Now he wasn't riding him, but he did jump over him, which is kind of interesting. Because he doesn't usually jump over his partner like that. Syrup. Every single time, I swear. Wait this time. By the way, uh, J-Pop and Zero, are you watching Nintendo Direct today? Since you're both here, me as well ask. Oh right, but let's go over to this place. I'm, I'm guessing y'all probably were not watching Nintendo Direct, unless you had time like before work or something. Just got done working out, finishing doing your save now. Ah, I remember now. That's right, of course. Wow. Oh no, what shall I do? I have no, no cake mix. Ooh -hoo. I can't leave my shop here. Oh dear, 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 dear. I hate to ask, but could you please bring me some cake mix? I'm on my knees. Well, you're not, but you know. Also, hey Keem, how you doing? Busy day today. I like it. Um... Uh, the the one thing that I wanted to point out from uh, today's Nintendo Direct, um, Tales of Symphonia, they're remastering it, and it's coming out for Switch. I don't know if it's coming out on other platforms, but it's coming out for Switch. I imagine it probably is coming out on other platforms. Uh, there was no Kirby news at all in the Nintendo Direct. Oops. I meant to jump on our Yoshi friend there. Just bought that game off Steam for like four bucks. Well, now you can buy it for 40 bucks. Isn't that wild? Oh, right! 
Sorry, Kir yeah, Kirby is returned to G I was thinking new Kirby news is the thing. But yes, new, uh, Kirby is returned to Dreamline, which is a pretty good game. But I don't really need, you know, remakes of the same game. I don't want to buy the same game 50 times is the big thing, you know? I just want to buy the game once. Where do I get cake mix? Kirby's Return to Return to Dreamland. I do I have to go to frickin' Pedalburg for this? Let's go take a look. And yes, it's gonna get a little gritty here, but uh stop and get Pianta Parlor for six Piantas. I actually own a copy of as far as I know, every um, Kirby game that was that was at least physically released, like there are some digital only releases that I don't have, and I think Extra Epic Yarn might have had a physical release that I don't have, but again, it comes down to the fact that I don't really care about getting the same game multiple times. There's a new ability. Cool. Alright. That's, that's, that's neat. I am the Pianta Changing Machine. I am called Pianta Changer. I exchange one Pianta for three coins. Want to exchange? Take five. Beep 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 beep. beep. Exchange complete. Want to exchange more? Thank you very much. Come again. Trade in our winnings. Well, quote unquote winnings. Some cake mix. And it's got almost every version of our E4. I am the Kirby guy, but it doesn't mean I want to buy the same game multiple times. I've already bought it. I don't need it again. Like, and as much as, like, as much as I would like Tunic on my Switch, which was also announced because the exclusivity contract is up, I already have Tunic. I've already finished it. Yeah, we don't have to call it Breath of the Wild 2 anymore. We can call it what it actually is. The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. I was hating everyone calling Breath of, calling it Breath of the Wild 2. It's just like that's not what it's gonna be called, y'all know that, right? Oh great, no time five. Yeah, it's a direct sequel to Breath of the Wild, but still, I... I mean, A Link Between Worlds is effectively the sequel to uh, A Link to the Past. It actually, in Japan, both of those games are called Kamigami no Triforce. Um, and... The link between worlds is coming at me too. And I don't like that. Do you have cake mix for me? Do you have it? Let me see. Thank you. You're the best. You passed my trouble test. Cannot make a cake without cake mix, right? No doubt. As you make a heartful cake, mix rune powder well to make the cake mix properly bake. I'm going to make it tonight, and it will be out of sight. Then I'll charm someone, right? Thanks so much to you, dear. 
Here's your award. Here. It hardly, seem, hardly seems worth the 30 coins I, paid, uh, I, uh, I made there. Because I paid 15 coins. Link's Awakening is a direct sequel to Link to the Past. Well, A Link Between Worlds happens, like, at least, it, it's the same Link, at the very least. Like, that's the big thing with the uh, Legend of Zelda timeline. There's multiple Links, there's multiple Zeldas, but it's always the same game. Just in different forms. Okay. To fetch it for me, please meet me in Pedalburg. Okay. Do it and do it right. Ganon Dork! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you. Oh. Things getting a little violent here. Oops. Actually, that was interesting. I pressed the wrong button and tried to um, tried to mount a omelet here, and because of exactly where I was standing, it failed. Oh no! Burning knockoff Elmo. Please help. God dang it. I feel like getting into pipes is super finicky. Your friend's emotes are, uh, recognizable. I should get some animated ones at some point. I just don't really know what I would get. Like, I still have all of my animated slots. I think I have, like, three. Okay, you're not the boulder. Well, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. Apparently you can only go left and right. But you can't go up and down with that move, which is silly. Hello, good day to you. I'm Bubba Bear. You came here after, he after hearing my request, correct? Uh, I'm so happy. I would, like to, I would like to ask you to bring me a hot dog. Yes, a hot dog is what I desire. It is said to be spicy, but I have never experienced spiciness in all my life. Some say they are sold in Glitzville. Uh, okay. I wonder what I'll get for my next emote. I mean, I have currently, um, I think, nine slots, and mostly because of that sub war. Like, my very first um, affiliate stream, Mazzy and Madison decided to have a bit of a sub war, and uh, I ended up with like. Something like 60, uh, 60 subs or something. Cha. 
Give me a lot of slots. But most of them are full at this point. You're full and tired, you're gonna go play old man. It's not a fun game, J-Pop. Now if you wanna play that game, be my guest. We're probably not gonna go for much longer anyway. Also, so Bubulber wants a hot dog because hot dogs are spicy, apparently. Hot dogs themselves are not inherently spicy. You can put spicy things in them. I usually just put ketchup because I am a picky eater. Alright, back up the glitz bell we go. Miss Tyrion going to bed too. Shoot. Well, sorry about that, Tyrion. And if you're still there, good night. If you're not, well, good night anyway. Thanks for the host, uh, theme, but, um, yeah, th this stream is, uh, not gonna go for much longer. Hello oh, there, you customer. That thing you, uh, with you used to be in my, uh, used to be in my runaway egg, I think. Yeah, it's that hatch from that naughty egg. I guess it's good, I didn't cook it. Now, have a hog hot dog? Still only 10 coins for one. You will buy it, huh? Thank you, customer. I, I feel like he probably has a different accent than that, and that accent is probably vaguely racist. So I will choose to not do it. Also, I don't know if y'all heard about the hosting feature in uh, Twitch. Uh, hosting is actually going away. I don't know exactly when, but this month at some point. Um, they are removing hosting. They are not removing raids. Raids are still a thing, but hosting is gone. And I think the issue that they see with hosting is the fact that um, any viewers that are on your channel watching someone else's stream uh, those views count for you, and they are in your chat, but not the other person's, if you understand what I'm saying. But basically they're giving more people the chance to, um, to actually get their own viewership, I guess. Although, it does kind of suck for, like, Let's say on Friday when I am, uh, when I'm announcing or when I'm commentating on that uh, semifinals game, um, my plan generally would be to host the channel that I'm going to be calling for. But if that if that feature is gone by then, I'm not gonna be able to do that. So. I understand why they're doing it, it still kind of sucks. I feel like they could probably like figure out a way to implement hosting that would work better for it. Uh, 
this is the way. This is the way. But yeah, raiding, however, is not going away. That is a uh, community building thing that uh, actually does work the way that Twitch intends. I'll get more than just 30 coins for this, uh... Ah, dang it. I missed the, the time jump for that, but uh, hey, it was enough. something for me? Oh, so this is a hot dog. I'm going to go right ahead and try it. Oh, 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 oh hot, hot, hot. So this is spicy. Well, this spiciness is quite interesting. It makes me crave more of it. I'm terribly sorry, but could you get me one more hot dog, please? I must have one. Great. Uh, and I don't want to run away from fights, but crap, there's so many of them. Because the more you run away from fights, uh, you also lose audience. This sign can just do multi dance. Well, I missed that flower, but uh, yeah, big deal. I guess I could have grabbed that flower and friggin' burnt that bubbleburst face off. She didn't fall in the water that time. Can someone check to see if I need to buy, like, a third hot dog? Because... 
If so, I'm just gonna do it while I'm up there. Got up for this. Well, thank you, J-Pop. I appreciate your your devotion to the cause. Moose cake. Is that also like up here? Or that's something that I have to make? And if that's something that I have to make, what ingredients do I need? Or ingredient, I guess. But I think I can only use one right now. So I need another cake. Gotcha. And take this ST, yeah. That is end of quest line. Good. So this trouble had better pay more than 30. Because um, we're spending 38 coins on this trouble. If we're only getting 30, I'm going to freaking murder this bubble. This is a thing. Uh, I guess I'll just use this regular shroom. Send the bulber to your cult. Get your value there. Ah, uh, let's see. Zesty lives here. Clumsy crush a lot. But I still don't understand why she does this for us. I just kind of call this names.
No. I mean, I like it. I would eat it myself if uh, I didn't already know that I was going to give it to someone else. That's how you do that. <clears throat> I like this song. A lot of the music in this is pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Right. Oh, I'm so happy to have them to eat another hot dog. I've dreamed of this. I shall devour it immediately. Well, well, well. Oh, oh, hot, 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 spicy, spicy hotness. Now this, this is spicy. Oh my, that was positively delicious. Good gracious, I'm sweating with pleasure. Ew. I'm rather surprised that it was spicy rather than just spicy. By the way, I know this is rather, rather rude, but I'd love to chase that with the sweet. Sweet are, sweets are the spice of life. That's my new theory I've just now coined. Could you go maybe cook up some cake mix, please? I really want a piece of moose cake. Yes, here it is. Shove it in your face. Oh, moose cake. I can't wait to eat, so I won't. Oh, sweet. Good gracious. I am quite satisfied now, but I feel like I've been demanding. Yes, you have. Maybe I just want to be spoiled by others. Maybe I was so selfish because... Oh, because it's such a peaceful place. I crave peace, love, and food. I'm sure that's it. Anyway, let me show my gratitude. Massive, gigantic words. <sighs> let's let's go store this. It's probably used for some. Get back to the Woo! <laughs> 
Okay. Well, I was going to at least go back to the pipe so I can, like, internalize where it is. But we're already ten minutes over at this point. So, um, hang on. I want to go out on the theme song. Let's go ahead and press the reset button here. So, that is going to do it for today's stream. I want to thank y'all for watching. Uh, the next scheduled stream is going to be tomorrow at 4 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the Code Creator stream. Um, may or may not happen, but uh, if it does, it's going to be some more development of bunker stickers. Uh, next stream after that is going to be on Saturday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the extra long run stream. We're going to continue our run of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. And, um, will we get to Sword March? Who knows? There's still a lot of adventure ahead of us, so stick around for that. Following that is going to be the Sunday Super Shuffle Sunday at 8 p.m. or later at Atlantic Daylight Time. And hopefully it's much less of a train wreck than it was last weekend. <laughs> Cause Holy crap, that went badly. And that takes us from round week, round wheel to our next um, long run stream. Next uh, Tuesday at 9 pm, it might be daylight time where we gotta take that twilight pipe into the twilight zone. Funny how that works, huh? And also, um, I don't know which channel is going to be on because Speed Gaming has six of them. But uh, on, as I mentioned before, on Friday at 7 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time, I am going to be uh, commentating on the uh, winner's finals match um, for the Time Spinner Randomizer Tournament. Uh, so that's going to be on Speed Gaming, Speed Gaming 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. I don't know which one yet, it hasn't been put into the schedule. I can double check right now to see if they've come up with the schedule for it. No, they haven't. They're probably gonna come up with it on Friday at like two hours before. But uh, yeah, um, even if I've been eliminated from the tournament, doesn't mean I don't, I don't get to participate anymore, right? Anyway. Uh, thank you to everyone who is here, so thank you to Jewel, Jerrion, Axe for the Raid, Sengai, uh, Zero, J-Pop, Keen, I think that's everyone. That's a lot of names, but I like it. More streams like this, please. Alright, uh, so yeah, that's gonna do it. Thank y'all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know. And I'll see you guys next time.